Hi there, and welcome back to Challenging Kitchen. If you're new here, my name is Rhonda, and a big welcome to you. We're going to be continuing with the holiday baking. Today's recipe is a German honey bar, Lepkutchen. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Here are the items you're going to need. Two and three quarter cup all-purpose flour, two teaspoons cinnamon, one teaspoon baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon salt, a half a teaspoon of cardamom, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a half a cup of honey, excuse us, a half a cup of dark molasses, three tablespoons of butter, three quarter cup of firmly packed brown sugar, one egg, almonds for the top, and lemon for our glaze. I'll have the recipe below. You're gonna need the uh, powdered sugar, lemon, lemon peel, and then we're going to put the almonds on top. The first thing that we're going to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees and then we're going to spray our pan. I'm using Crisco. Get a nice coat on it. One teaspoon baking powder. Two teaspoons ground cinnamon. Half a teaspoon baking soda. Hello. Half a teaspoon ground ginger. Half a teaspoon cardamom. Oh, that smells so good. Back here. And we're gonna give this a good mix. I forgot my salt. Half teaspoon salt. Here we go. To save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to put the honey and the molasses in the microwave just for about a minute, just to heat it through. Otherwise, you would do it in a saucepan. Half a cup. <clears throat> Five. 
fun fact here. If your honey has crystallized, put it in some warm water. It's perfectly fine. Half a cup of honey. The old trusty knife will do it. Now that the honey and molasses has been in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half. Depends on your microwave, if you wanna go the short route, which I did. We'll mix this up. And then we're just gonna add our three tablespoons of butter. Now that the butter has melted and it's not as hot, I'm going to add three quarter cup of packed brown sugar as if the honey and the molasses isn't sweet enough. We need some more because it's Christmas time. in there. Our one egg. Now, in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add this yummy goodness right in here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, smells so good. Then gradually, we're going to add our flour mixture. This is gonna be a very sticky dough. Now we're going to transfer that into our greased pan. Now I'm just gonna smooth this out as best as I can. This is gonna be a very um, small bar. I don't want it real, real thick. Cause the true cookies were a little thinner.
The monks used to make these in the 1300s. And it was a real Christmas time treat. I wished I had that recipe. Smooth it out as best as I can. And into the preheated oven for about 20, 22 minutes. Just wanna make sure that it's, you stick a toothpick in it, it comes out clean. We don't wanna over bake them. Here we go. Out of the oven, it was about 20 minutes. I did test it for doneness. The toothpick came out clean. So now we just have to let this cool before I do the glaze. For the glaze, we're gonna do one and a quarter cup powdered sugar. three tablespoons of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of the rind. I want to thank you for stopping in to Challenging Kitchen today. Give this Love Kitchen recipe a try. I know you're going to love it. Let me know how you like it. Write it in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you. Thank you, and may God always bless you.